Hello everyone. This is May 21st, 2023. The time is 1.35 p.m. and our current temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. I am in the car, but it's going to be a walking video. I just showed a little bit in the car. We are in another province today. We're, we're in the province of New Brunswick and a little town of Heartland, which has got a famous landmark here. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to be driving through that famous landmark, which is the longest covered bridge in the world. And it's right here at Heartland, New Brunswick. And you'll see the sign Heartland coming up right here. There we are, and we're gonna drive right down onto the bridge. And once we get across the bridge, we're gonna park and we're gonna walk around the downtown of Heartland. It's not a big town, but I think it'll make a nice, a nice video. <laughs> Cops are raising somebody's house. <laughs> Nothing unusual about that <laughs> in this part of the country. That is, high, that is quite normal behavior around here. All right. Not to give the impression that everybody's lawless in Heartland, but we're just... Uh, no, just a lot of alcoholics. Yeah. <laughs> My wife thinks that maybe drinking might be a problem here. Where she got that idea, I don't know. Considering that I used to live in these areas. Now, as if there's no cars we're coming, we can go. I gotta stop yeah. first. And then we go on the bridge. And it's supposed to be supposed to be not meeting a car on this bridge. It's supposed to be one car. One car lane. Yeah. Let me get up here. Isn't this beautiful going across this bridge? The longest covered bridge in the world. Isn't that nice? Is it scary? Maybe for some people. Not for me. It's not scary. But somebody never drove over a bridge this long that was made out of wood. They might find it scary. You know, the only thing I've never done mm -hmm. is I've never actually walked this bridge. Oh, maybe we'll do that at the end of the video before we come back. You want to walk the bridge? We'll see. Okay. All right. As you see, my wife is with me today. She's the pilot of this car. And I'm just waiting to see where he's going. Yeah. And she's... You, you may hear us talking at the same time, back and forth. And... Uh, but it's not a driving video, it's not about driving, it's just uh, we drove to get here because obviously we couldn't walk that far from where we where we live, or we don't live here, but where we're staying. We're staying with relatives and, and then going back to Halifax tomorrow. License no parking, parking. that's what I was reading. Okay, we gotta park where we're supposed to park. I don't think you have to pay for parking there. No. no. You just got to get into a parking spot. You just got to be careful where you park. Yeah, you can't, you can't park where you're not supposed to park. Or you could park facing the river if you want to. No, no okay. Face the river. We'll start our video by having a little look at the river out there and looking at the bridge from outside the bridge. All right, I got to get my I gotta get myself I gotta get myself untangled there from the seatbelt. There, I think I've got it. There we go. All right, good. Out we go! To the town of Ireland. A little bit of wind blowing here, so hopefully we don't get too much wind noise. There's the sign on the bridge. I'll walk where you can read that. There's the sign on the bridge showing the world. You are now entering the longest covered bridge in the world. 1,282 feet in the town of Ireland. Okay. I see something's been added here since we were here last. You see that, Corey? Yeah. The, the shop right there, that wasn't here before. Yeah. This was just a parking lot last time we, last time we came here, this was just a parking lot. Now there's a, now there's a shop there, a bus and visitor parking and Visitor gift shop. Who wants to walk under the bridge? I'm 
I'm gonna walk down. There's a little trail down here. Well, they don't go far, but it might get us out of the wind, if nothing else. It's a little steep, that's why I'm walking slow. Don't wanna trip in the middle of this video. That wouldn't be good. Somebody revving up their car on the bridge. Hi. Right. Look, let's see it from down here. Isn't that nice? You can see by the flags that the wind's blowing pretty good, so I gotta try to stay away from the wind as much as possible. Especially right down here by the water, that's where it's blowing the most. I'm gonna go under the bridge and then we'll go back out. Oh, it's windy down here. Very, very windy. We'll look, up, we'll look across under the bridge, and then we'll go back in, okay. It's quite windy down here, isn't it? I, I gotta try to stay in this wind as much as possible because it's it's gonna make a horrible noise. <laughs> and there's the other bridge. Now these are, these bridges are off of the old highway, off of the new highway. The new highway doesn't go at all over these bridges anymore. That used to be the main. I think it will up that side now. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, you go right on up past that now. That used to be the highway. Correct. You do not even need to get on the bridge. No, no. That is no longer the Trans Canada Highway right there. Used to be. All right, let's take these stairs. I think I'll take the grass. It looks a little better than the stairs. They look kind of muddy. Right. Now we'll go up into the town. It's very windy right here. I gotta get out of that wind. Yeah. My wife and my son are uh, are doing something back there that's funny. Let me help you up those stairs there. You're becoming a senior. You guys are my niece. <laughs> my wife's got a ways to go before she's a senior. Look at her. Does she look like a senior? No. If they can guess my age. How old do you think that woman is right there? <laughs> she's not a day over 90, is she? Okay. That right there used to be the town hall. I don't know if it still is or not. It was a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, that used to be a bank. I think that's the Dane Ross office now. All right, let's have it. Let's, once you get up here, I'll blow the wind. It'll be a little better. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a small town. Not a lot to see. I think we're to the end of it. <laughs> Library now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, library. The library. Oh, the yeah. Library. Well, it always been a library. When, when I was, a, when I was a, a teenager, this town was much, much longer than this. There were stores all along here. There was a movie theater here. Yeah, all, all kinds of stuff. There we are. That's the limits of the town that way. But we can go up through the street. I'll try to give you the names of the streets here if I can. I found a way to block the wind a bit. Put it right in front of me. Yeah. It's not so windy if I do that. Blocking out some of the wind. Yeah. Focus. All right, looking over at the bridge one more time. That's the famous part of Heartland. Look, the only thing is known for is the bridge. There we are, we're out of the wind for now. For a few seconds. Yeah, for a little bit. Until you get to the end of the building. 
and I am on Orser Street. Orser, O-R-S-E-R, Orser Street. All these things have changed. There used to be buildings here everywhere. Yeah, I know they did. Yeah, these were all busy streets back back when, when I was a teenager. These buildings, I I never lived in Harlem, but I lived close to here. Yeah. Yeah. There were streets everywhere. Stores. I think that's the post office. It was back a long time ago. That was the post office. I think that might be a walking trail. It was up to that it other is. bridge, yeah. The old train. The old train track. Maybe we'll walk on that after. We'll, okay. We'll explore this up here, and then we'll come back, and yeah. we can just cut across the parking lot. You're not going to get too much further up here. Yeah. Then you're just in the residential area. Yeah, and if I go up top of the hill, it's going to be a lot windier. Yeah. So, Horseshoe Street. No trucks this way. Because they must have a new a truck route now up through here. I see on our road. Yeah, you know what used to be right here? That was that. That was that company that made made. Uh, oh, something to do with trailers. I think. I think. Oh, yeah. yeah, something like that. I forget. I forget what it was called. It was a little factory right there, anyway. Yeah, that post office has been there for quite a while. I can remember that when I was, I don't know. Teenager? Teenager, yeah. Well, maybe 18, 19, 20, something along there. Teenager. I remember that would be in the post office then. Well, we'll take the street right here. Yeah, there's your town hall. There's the town hall. Now, these say that was built later, and this came later. That wasn't the original post office, and that wasn't the original town hall. All right, we'll take take Maple Street. That might take us down to the trail, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. And the high school was just up around that turn. It yeah, probably, it probably still, still is. It probably still is the high school. I ain't walking up the hill. Nah, it's kind of windy up there. I see the flags blowing at the top of the hill. That's probably where the school is, yeah. Yeah. Anybody want to go and get tested? Something tells me that's not there anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a wind here. So once you get down on that trail, it might be clear. But... Once you get down the trail, it might be a little different. Right here, it's windy. I know it makes a horrible noise in, the, in your ears when you have to watch something that was in the wind. So, I'm trying to be mindful of the wind. I can't, it, I can't avoid it completely, but I'm trying to be mindful of it. This right here was the train track. through there. I remember that well. It was a train. used to be a train station right down there. We won't go too far up this trail, but no. there might not be nothing up here. Nah, probably not. Can you imagine the train used to go by here once? Yep. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. No, not in your lifetime, but did in mine. You can always tell when we haven't had a lot of rain. Because you can see the land there in the middle of the river. Yep. Which is unusual for this time of year because we're still in spring. Yep. Usually we have floods and, and a lot of high water. Yeah, I don't think they had much of a flood this year. I don't think so. You see, 
see the bridge in the background. Well, thankful that we're not into a whole lot of wind right here. We just might get through this today. Can anybody see that little thing there? No, I don't see nothing. Oh, hold on, I'll take my glasses off. Can't see this green. What am I looking for? Are you gonna real thing this is how many minutes? Hey, you're at 15.40. Oh, okay. Because if you can see that, you know, it hasn't shut off. If you can't see that, then there could be something. Uh, walked up as far as around this corner, then we'll yeah, back yeah, way. sounds good. Technically, as of right now, we're not in Heartland. Well, this is still Heartland. Nope. Signs back there. Welcome to Heartland. This is Heartland. Well. This technically is not Heartland. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the West End, the West End of Heartland. <laughs> Right up on the hill was a little spot where there's a grocery. Uh, no, we're not walking up there. But there's a Tim, there's a Tim Hortons up there, and there's a Irving and Irving Gas Bar, Tim Hortons, and a convenience store. Yeah, just little things. That's basically what's there up there. There might be a bank up there too. Yeah, and I see where this side of the track ended across the road right up here, and it went yep. down the other and side. Went down the other side. Yeah, but we won't do that today. Maybe another day when I. We'll if, wrap this way again. Yeah, we ever come down here again, we'll walk this trail. Well, at least they keep it nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah. Not like some trails. I should get a an e-bike and start making the videos of old railroad bits. There you go. That would be interesting. I could cover a lot of distance on them then if I had an e-bike. Car from the 70s going by. He's got a he's got to show off how loud it is. <laughs> yeah. That's the way the East Coasters are. Yeah, that's life in the small town in the yeah. East Coast of Canada. I come from a small town. Yeah. And I know what they're like. We all did. We came from small towns. My wife and I, we didn't grow up in the same town, although. I spent a lot of time around Woodstock and Heartland as a young person, so it's like home to me too, even though I wasn't born here. I was still... Good for you guys. Yeah. You were born in Woodstock. Yeah, yeah. but it's not my home. You, you lived there for the first e Even Heartland feels like home to me because I lived out in Coldstream once when I was a teenager. I went to school at Heartland. And, it's been, and I came in here a lot. There used to be a movie theater right over there, just around somewhere near where the where it says Dr. Walter Library. In that area, in all that part, there was a movie theater. And the rest was Ontario. Yeah. Yeah, most of her life was spent in New Brunswick. Half in New Brunswick, half in Ontario, yeah. Nova Scotia. Yeah, the other, yeah, yeah. We were in Ontario in a total of 17 years. Yeah. Now we're in Nova Scotia for a total of five. Yeah. And nobody thought I would be Woodstock. No. Sometimes you have to, and there's not not suitable employment in that town. And what you can find don't pay enough. And you have to move on. You have to go somewhere where things are a little better. I'm wondering why they got all the, the cameras up on the corner of that Jane building. Ross. Jane Ross. Oh. That's why. Are they that hated that they need three cameras on the corner of the They're building? About, you know, <laughs> keeping their documents secure. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I think that's the, the big computer state building. Probably. They got like a mainframe in there that keeps track of all their, 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 their business. Financial records. Yeah. yeah, that's what that is. That's why they got all the security. Yeah. It's not part of their, their office for everyday work. It's part yeah. of their records keeping. Yeah. Yeah. Security part. Yeah, that's what that is. The server's got to be stored somewhere. Yeah. Dan Ross is one of the biggest 
construction yep. industry. In yeah, I think I heard about that when they, when they opened that up. Outside of Irving. Yeah, outside of Irving. Irving out there. Well, Irving, I didn't know part of the day park now. All right, now we got a decision to make. Okay, and then, since this video isn't that long, do you guys want to walk across the bridge? Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Well, walk, we're going to take a walk across that covered bridge. Oh, the Great Trail. Yep, yeah, the Great Trail. Great Trail. Well, this you, you probably go all the way to Woodstock on it this. It probably walks across the Brunswick. Yeah, you probably can. This is probably part of the Trans Canada Trail. Yeah, probably. probably. The tell me. Yeah, I bet we're on it. A little windy, but I'm, I'm working with it. I'm trying to get by with as little wind as possible. I think we're doing okay. No, it just calls it the New Brunswick Trail. Yeah. It needs a little repairs. There's some rain has, has washed, washed away a lot of the road here. For instance, this piece right here. So don't trip over it. No, don't trip over it. <laughs> there we go. If you're riding a bicycle, that would be a little... Rough. Is this where we're turning? Yeah, we'll go down there. We'll go down here, walk up the street, and yeah. then we'll go across the bridge. I think we'll be free of the wind in the bridge. Yeah. Or it could be a wind tunnel. Could be. We're hoping for a call. We'll see when we get down there what it is. Well, I ran into somebody today who's been watching my videos. Here? Here? Yeah, at church. Uh -huh. Well, this is Indy now. Well, that was a long you were talking. Yeah. He, he, when, when I told him I made videos, he asked me what the name I went by, and I told him, he said, oh, I saw your videos. I'm walking backwards because he's going to into the back. I just turned it off to avoid the, the open wind I was walking in there. And now here we are. We're going to walk this bridge. This will be my first time walking yeah. across it. Yeah. 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 I don't think we've ever done it. It nope. might be a little scary for some people, but it's it's not really. I've lived here most of my life, Sean, and I've never done it. Well, now we're going to walk it. Remember that number. 1282. That's how long this bridge is. 1,282 feet long. Did you notice that the sign is in feet? Yeah, I know. Because that's how it always was and they didn't change it. Yeah. When they went metric, they didn't change it. They just left it at feet. 1,282 feet. If you want meters, you'll have to do the math. Oh yeah, this is not, that's not too windy, is it? No. No, a little breeze, a little breezy, but not too bad. One thousand two hundred and eighty two. Yeah. That would give you, according to Google, three hundred and ninety meters. Three hundred and ninety meters. Three hundred and ninety meters long. Well, there you go. I've never thought about it that way before. Well, it's three hundred and ninety point seven five three six. Mm -hmm. Walk a little faster now. Right? Yeah. Back when I was a kid. If you were supposed to remember to turn on your headlights when you went through this bridge. Yep. Now your car has all just turned them on. Yep. Till you get in the dark, your lights come on. But that was the rule back then, turn on your lights. That way people know you're coming across yep. the bridge. Yep. And stop at East End and wait to see if any cars are on the bridge. If they are, you're supposed to wait till they come over. You can meet a car on it, but you gotta be really careful. But you're not supposed to, you're supposed to wait. Well, I look out the window, look down the river, and we take a look, look out here. All right. They call New Brunswick the picture province. Now, I don't know if it's any more picturesque than Nova Scotia. 
I know, uh, I don't think so, but maybe. Ontario got some great scenery too. Oh, they, they used to call that, uh, what was the name of that? What They had a nickname for that street right there. The, the, oh, see how these things leave you? The alley, maybe? Maybe. I think maybe it was called the alley. I think it was, I think it was, I think they had a name, something like Stovepipe Alley or something. Oh, yep, that road up in there. There was like a lot of, I guess you could call some of them shacks and some of them were okay houses. I think that's what they called that. Neither my wife or my son has ever walked this covered bridge before. Nope. I can't say the same for myself. I've walked it a few times, but never to video it. This is my first time videoing the longest covered bridge. I've seen a few other people's videos, but I don't recall seeing anybody walking it. I've seen people driving it and showing pictures of it, but I don't recall seeing anybody doing a walking video of it. So hopefully I'll be the first. Well, what are we gonna do today as we finish the video? Gonna get something to eat. Oh, something to eat, that, that sounds good. <laughs> Barbecue. Yeah. yeah, what time do you say is barbecue? Said? It says we'd be there at 530, which means barbecue won't happen at 530. No. It'll be like 6-6. Right. Every year we come up on this holiday <laughs> to visit my wife's family and her brother has a barbecue. And there's a lot of workers in this because there'll be a lot of people there. My wife comes from a big family. And they have a lot of kids, and now those kids got kids, and you 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 got enough for a, for a, talk about your family reunions. That, that's a <laughs> you need a couple acres of land to park the cars. If I was to have a family reunion of both sides of the family, we need a football field. Yeah, <laughs> she comes from a big family. I have. Three full, three full brothers, two full sisters, but then I also had, on my father's side, three half-brothers and three half-sisters. Which all have children. And they all had kids, and most of them. they all had kids. kids. They had kids. Now, those kids <laughs> probably had kids. Yeah. yeah the, the family just grow. She's going to be able to start her own town soon. Yes. You could be the mayor and... <laughs> We made it across. We stayed out of the wind. Now we're getting over here where it's windy again. Yeah. yeah. When we walk back, we'll go a little faster, but I'll keep it on anyways. And, and I should give a view of the bridge yeah. and the water. Yeah. I think there's, is there a park down in here? I don't know if there is. I don't know, Dad. I thought that I heard something about there was a park down in there. I guess there's people over there. But... Well, the gate's open, bridge. Bridgeview Court. No, it's not a park. It's a place to park RVs and trailers. Stuff like that, yeah. That street is now called Bridgeview Drive, but it did have a nickname. I think it was still Point Valley back when I went to school and lived there. Back across? Yep. I hope they fly the British flag too. Yeah, Brunswick, Canada, and UK 
they're all flying proudly up there. Yep. All right, we'll walk a little faster going back because we already showed it over. So we just, I got nothing better to do, right? Might as well. Yeah. Let's take a look at the bridge from here. Can it wear the cars do anything? I know, it makes me very nervous when he does stuff like that. <laughs> Why? Because you could drop it and fall in the river from there. There's yes. holes. No, I'm not going to drop it. I just wanted to show what it looked like if you just stand there. I can't walk out there because cars run over me. Okay, so we'll walk quickly. We'll get back across fairly fast. And we walked slow coming over because it was the first time for them walking it. And, and we're staying out of the wind pretty much. Yep. This video is going to be about a half an hour long. That's but good enough. Time, oh, yeah, it's all right. Don't, they don't have to be, like, real long every time. We're exploring Heartland today. I want to see how much died. Yeah. Now, what route are you taking when we leave here? No, no. Highway? No, no. I say... What restaurant do you guys want to go to? I don't know. What is there? Besides the Irving? <laughs> Big stuff? Well, what are you looking for? Are you looking for, like, fast food, burgers, or pizza? Uh, I really don't want fast food. Like pizza. I don't know. You guys want pizza? You said you didn't want fast. Well, pizzas, I guess, not fast food. Yeah. You can go to Pizza Delight, I guess. It's a place. Yeah, that's a place to sit That's more of a restaurant style. Where is that in Woodstock? Yeah, back, back on the, uh, right on the highway. Side. All right. Well, let's go back the way we came up that road. It's quite picturesque. And, and then come down the old road up there to Woodstock. Want to do that? Okay. Which old road? You get up to where we, that side. yeah, this not, side not this, side. not this side. Oh, this, this side. Yeah. Oh, this side. Okay. Yeah. I know where he's talking about. Yeah. Not the little road right there, but up the hill. Yeah, I know yeah. where you're talking yeah. about. Before you swing up towards that highway there. Yeah. Whatever you're saying. Yeah. We'll go that way in a while. Was that a was that a half ton or was that an F-18 flying through here? Whatever it is, it's too loud. I think they can hear him in Woodstock. Probably. Watch it. You're going to get a single file up there. Yeah, I know. I'll let Dad you. should be in front. Yep. And we're going to go single file. Okay. I'm going to step up the pace a little bit here. Like I said, we already walked it once, so we don't need to go slow this time. We can go fast through across the bridge. We drove it, we walked it slow, now we're gonna walk it a little faster. And that should hold us for the Heartland Bridge. I might add a little more to this after we get in the car till we get out of Heartland. And then I'll end my video where it's nice and quiet in the car. Okay? Sound like a good deal? All right. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll finish it off on the way to Woodstock, and you'll have seen all about the little town of Heartland. I can hear the roar of the wind, but it's not really blowing in here, blowing against the side of the bridge. And, but, It don't take that long to walk 1,282 feet, does it? Nope. Yeah, not that far. Almost done with the bridge. We'll walk straight to the car and then we'll, we'll do a little video and go out of town, okay? And then we'll end it. And I'll give you about a half an hour video. Well, you're probably already in a half hour. What's that right now? Oh, this one is 12 minutes and 29 oh, seconds. Oh, yeah, because I turned it off once. Yeah. Yeah, so you're probably over 30 minutes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Mm. 
before I go off the bridge, I'm going to get ahead and I'm going to film them on the bridge with me. Really? There they are. <laughs> my wife and my son accompanying me on this video. All right, we're back to the other end. Back in Heartland again. Hopefully I got a few people in Heartland watching this. See what I say about the cars? They have to wait on the other end if there's cars on the bridge so they won't be meeting on the bridge because the bridge is quite narrow. You can meet, but you're not supposed to. Down all that way, arena that way, school that way, industrial park, fire hall, and visitor information that way. I am, yeah. Sorry about the wind. There we go. Getting back in the car now. I'm going to leave it right on and we will. And we'll keep it on until we get out of Heartland and down the other side to where we would decide to turn it off. Okay. All right. Now, if my wife would hold this, I'll put my seatbelt back on. Thank you. There we go. Whoop, dude, I gotta start it up, don't I? I don't no, you it. didn't turn it off. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. We're all good. Well, it's certainly not hot, that's for sure. There's the flags flying up there. Bus and visitor parking only. That's in front of the building. Yeah, the rest of it's okay. Well, that was nice. We had a parking spot to park to make that video. Sometimes that works out great. You have parking spots right there. Heartland, if you could have seen it back in the 60s, this was a booming little town. There was loads of stores. That's Main Street right here. This Main Street right here was full of buildings. That building right there with the flag on it, that used to be the town hall, I think. And But we had buildings like that all the way up here to the bridge and all the way down on both sides of the streets and up side street. It was a, it was a nice little town. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to, but... Why not? You're, you're that close to them, might as well. The car behind me came right through, too. Yeah, exactly. Well, I hope you're enjoying this bridge. Not many people do a video and show it this in-depth. <laughs> We've had two drivers across, a walk over and a walk back. Told you that the distance of it in, in feet and also in meters. I don't think anyone can top that with a video. You get the best here. You get nothing but the best on this channel. Yeah, that's just a place to park RVs in there and stuff like that. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna go to the top of the hill and then we're gonna go left and we're gonna go down towards Woodstock on on, the old road. and what everybody calls the old road. We call it the old road. Yeah, that's, that's, it, it's got a name, but that's what we, everybody calls it, the old road. The highway number two. This was the main road a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, long, long time. When I was a baby, this would have been the main road. But I wasn't very old when they built the Trans-Canada Highway and that new bridge, or the, 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 bridge, the high bridge down there. That was built when I was just young. So, but before that, this was the highway. 
Don't look like much of a highway now, does it? But that was it. People didn't travel as far back then as they do now. Can you imagine how long it take you to get to Halifax on a road like this? Probably eight hours <laughs> instead of the five. It would be. It'd be a long drive. So we're taking the old road to Woodstock. And that road there will take you up to the older highway, which will take you to the newer highway. It's yeah. confusing. You got the old, the newest highway, the next newest, is the old highway and the oldest highway. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of choices here in Heartland. <laughs> Feels nice to drive around here though. Yeah. But I'm glad I don't live here. Yeah. Because not, put, not putting it down, a lot of people live here and they love it. It's a beautiful country, it's a beautiful province, it's a Woodstock is a beautiful town, but... There's not a lot to do. If you lived in a city, yeah. a small town is not the place to live. Nah, like we lived right in Toronto, right in the city of Toronto. And to come back here and live, I, I think we, we go we go next. I don't think we could, could handle it. I have a feeling that if we would have moved back to Woodstock, we might not be together anymore. Because <laughs> it'd be that boring. That's a scary thought. No, I wouldn't want to uh, live here. It's a nice place to visit, but I don't want to live here. What do you think of this road work here? They've done a quite a fantastic job. Beautiful patch job. <laughs> Our province here has done a fantastic job patching this road up. We're gonna get behind the slow poke. I don't know. It used to be 70. I don't know what it is now, but. It's all the way down. Oh, it's all the way down, okay. Push, push, yeah, let's do it. Turn, is that on? Yep, yeah. okay. Yes. All right. Everything's on. You just got to point Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little, it's 70. a little, uh, there it is. I got it now. It's a little warm in here right now because the sun was the shining. The limit on. is 70 there, white car. Let's go. Yeah. And it's hard to pass because there's so many you little hills. You can't pass. No, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be safe to pass. Yeah. Well, I hope you're enjoying this backcountry tour here. It's, I was going to end the video, but I might just <coughs> leave it going and show you some of the beautiful scenery here in backcountry uh, New Brunswick. We're doing 40 kilometers an hour in a 70 zone. Come on. You know, it's almost like summer here now. Yeah. All the trees are, are bloomed right out there with their leaves and the dandelions and that green grass is everywhere. It's like... I tell you, if I could pass this car, I would. <laughs> My wife over there is getting impatient here now. She's, I don't know, she might do something. No, I don't mind driving behind a car if they're doing the speed limit. But when you're doing 30 to 30 to 20 to 30 kilometers under the speed limit. Well, maybe you get a spot where you can whip around them. Right there. No, no. there's a corner up there. I can't oh, okay. Pass. Take them on the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pass them on the right. Uh, you got a good straight stretch of road. Yes. You can rear end them and push them off the road. I don't know where they're going. I'm thinking they're lost because now the speed limit's going up to 80. Now what are we doing then? 50, the 45. Right, the right next speed of 45 kilometers an hour. And the speed limit is 80. That's about 25 miles an hour. That's why I have a feeling that we're probably trying to find somewheres. Yeah. And they're not sure where they where There they you go. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, you can pass them now because we saw over the hill. There's nobody coming over the other side. Sorry there, fella, but I want to do 80. There, my wife's wild side is starting to come out now. Speed limit is 80. I can handle this road at 80. I'm surprised she didn't run him off the road, but she's <laughs> in a good mood today, I guess. I won't run anybody off of the road. Oh, I will okay. complain that they're driving too slow. <laughs> you haven't reached that point of violence no. yet. Oh, okay. And they're probably not sure where they're going. Yeah. She's, she's, she earns her living driving, so she has to be somewhat law-abiding. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be a little civilized. 
short of them a little bit at least, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying everybody at her work is civilized. I'm, no, they're not. <laughs> I'm not going that far, but... I work with all men drivers. Yeah. I'm the only female driver in my company right now. My, my wife is a courier driver in Halifax, in case you haven't picked up on that from previous videos. She's a courier driver and she works long hours. I get up with her in the morning because I have to bring the car home to take my son to work. And, and that's been our routine for quite some time now. That's about to change, I hear a lot. I'll be doing a little different maybe uh, next month. July and August. Yeah. If you see me out making more videos, that means things have changed. <laughs> I have been known to appear down on the waterfront playing my guitar. If anybody comes along at the right time, you may have the opportunity to meet me in person. The one and only Halifax Walker. I won't have the sign on myself, but I, you sure. might be able to. You should. You might be able to figure it out. Which one of those guitar players on the waterfront is me? Should create a little sign with a QR code for the game. Yep. <laughs> Take it to your YouTube channel. That's right. Look, we got the road all to ourselves now. This gimbal will take these bumps right out. It's amazing. You yeah. can go over bumps and you think, oh, that's so rough, that'll never fix that. And you see it on the screen, and it hasn't moved. It's very, very good at straightening out the bumps. And this is just a small gimbal, but it does a good job. It's light to carry, it's not real super heavy. The, my, my, the one I had before this was heavier. But this one here is light to carry. It, it don't, Get you tired holding it. I love that patchwork. That's <laughs> something to behold. Beautiful work. Yeah. Beautiful road work for New Brunswick. Get off the road, there's a wild woman coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the, the end of you. I would not hit a car. No, you wouldn't. Not on purpose. No. In my life, I haven't hit man more than three cars on purpose. Joke. Really? <laughs> joke, joke, joke. I don't think you hit any on purpose. <laughs> I haven't hit any more than three on purpose. Of course, I'm older than my wife. By the time she my age, she might have hit three on purpose. I don't know. No. No? Okay. It's more likely they would run into me. Yeah, probably. Which I've had happen. Truck. My truck was parked one day doing a delivery, and I come out, and the next thing I know, there's a police officer by my truck. Yeah. A lady back, back out of a parking spot and back into the back of my truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no damage to my truck. Didn't really hurt the truck, but because he witnessed it, he had to I say had that. Do a report. Or was there a woman? It's a woman. Woman, police. woman policeman, yeah. She, she was sitting there when it happened, so she couldn't ignore it. Well, she could have, but... She could have. I even tried to tell her, and I said, look, I said, she didn't do any damage to my vehicle, so yeah. I, don't care, I don't need to do a report. Yeah. What I should have said to the police officers was, if I do a report, I'm going to lose my, my, my um, $200 bonus. Yep. Well, our next uh, road video is going to likely be a trip to Kentville picking strawberries. Yep. That'll be our next road road uh, video. And if we're extremely lucky, but I might have to do it another day, I want to do a video up in Wolfville, which I've been promising that for a while, and I have okay. never done it yet. We'll do that some Saturday in July. Yeah. Some Saturday in July, okay? Be a nice, warm, sunny yeah. day. Tourists will be, all be out. Yeah. Wolfville's a nice little town. The, the tourists flock there in the summer. They're all nice little towns. It's just not a lot in them. Yeah. It's a university town. Acadia University's in Wolfville. And 
there's a lot of outdoor cafes and nice restaurants and places to eat in Wolfville, especially in the summertime for the tourist season because a lot of people go to Wolfville in the summer. Wonderful spot. The beauty of it is, it's not that far from Halifax. We can get on the 101 and, and drive right up to, to Wolfville. Be there in what, about an hour? About an hour, yeah. roughly. And what you guys will learn is in Canada, when we talk about distance, we don't use kilometers, we don't use miles, we use time. Yeah, it's an hour away. <laughs> it's an hour away. Forget about the kilometers, it's an hour away. Yep, that's right. We, we, we measure our distance in time. Yep. Hope you're enjoying this ride down from Heartland to Woodstock. This is what they call the old road. And it's mostly farm country and... I don't even know what the name of this road is. Either. And patches like this all over the road and, and the trees. And I didn't even see any animals. No, I haven't either. Probably because there's too too much people really living. Know the name of this road. Yeah, it's what? Route 103. Route 103. There we are. My son has looked it up on his uh, phone. This right is on Google Maps. This is route on Google Maps. Route 103. You're almost back to Woodstock. Yeah. yeah. There's the Rosedale Road right here. Anybody knows the area? There's Rosedale Road. Okay. That means we're almost back to Woodstock when we pass the Rosedale Road. Yeah. I had a, I had a couple of good friends that lived out there on Rosedale Road, and I. I no, can't say for sure, but they might be both passed away by now. Nope. No? I haven't heard yet. Really? Yeah. I got to ask my good friend Helen if she can tell me if they're still alive or not. Nobody's posted it on Facebook yet. Yeah. People I used to play music with. Guitar <laughs> one's a guitar player and the other one was a singer. Yeah. Oh, okay. They were what we call the chain smokers. Yeah, the chain smokers. There's already a band called that, so they can't use that. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yep. And they're actually a very good band. Yeah, the chain smokers. They seem to have good voices for chain smokers, but you enjoy some of their music. Yeah. Well, I made a promise today I have to keep. That next time we come up, I'm bringing my guitar and my amplifier. <laughs> Well, see, I guess I have to now, don't I? Yeah. Which will be when? Won't be until... Won't be before August. It'll be, it'll be late summer. Okay, good. Because Morning. I can't spend too much money. Yeah. We're going to go to Montreal. Uh, I don't want to come out here for Canada Day, so... No, I'm not. I'm staying in, staying in Halifax for Canada Day. Yeah. I want to see the, um, the jets fly over. And there's nothing to do in here on Canada Day. No. 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 Where are we going on Canada Day? Halifax. Halifax. Oh, yeah. Staying yeah. local. Staying local this year. Maybe they'll have some uh, entertainment there. Well, they're uh, supposed to have the jets oh, flying over. Oh, yeah, the snowbirds over. are flying over, I think. Yeah, yeah, the snowbirds are supposed to be flying over, and I want to see that. Yeah. I didn't get to see it the last time. Remember last time that we had the snowbirds flew over just to fly over on their way to, that to, was it. to the air base? Yeah. Okay. Shortly after that, one of them crashed. Yeah. That was in Vancouver. Yeah. Out in Vancouver. Shortly, right? Not too long after that. A week or two after yeah. that, one of them crashed. And I think they were killed. They, they were, were yeah. yeah. The young lady. It was a woman. Woman driving the... I think it was a bird strike or something? Yeah. And now we're back in the little yeah. town of Woodstock. And I, think, and I think they were too close to the ground for them to have time to parachute. Yeah, something like that, yeah. That's my family church. Yeah. There's where my wife grew up right there going to that church her whole life and where I've been several quite a few times. <laughs> when I looked, it was only three or four. 
like a never-ending stream of vehicles. What did you do? Uh, oh, this thing, yeah, there yeah, we go. the button. Yeah. That fan has probably made a quite a background noise on this video. No idea. Huh? No idea. Yeah. I turned it down a notch. Yeah, I don't know what it sounded like on the video. There's been a, probably a background noise you heard. That was the air conditioning fan. No. Yeah, Hopefully it wasn't too it's, loud. It's 21 degrees here in my yeah. hometown. 21 degrees, and when the sun's shining on your glass, on your car, it could be quite a bit warmer than that. Yep. Well, we're going in search of a place to eat. We're not in search. We know where we're going. We know where we're going. Yeah, okay. Pizza Delight. Pizza oh, Delight? Yeah. Is that going to delight me to have that pizza? Well, you can have whatever you want that yeah. you feel like you want to eat. Other things than pizza, I think. They don't have spaghetti. So if you don't want pizza, you can have spaghetti. Oh, that sounds good. Just because we're going to a pizza place, don't mean everybody's going to eat pizza. Yeah. I think they do sell other stuff. They do. Too bad they didn't sell pizza burger. Pizza what? Pizza burger. Oh, pizza burger. I haven't had a good pizza burger since the log cabin. Log Cabin used to make the best pizza burgers. Out of yep. We've come up on what you call Deacon Drive. And That's the, the new home hardware. Yeah, there's the new yeah, home the hardware they built. The, the one downtown is closed and they built this the one new... One that's like four times the size. Yeah, it's huge. And Walmart's back in there too, isn't it? No, not here. Further on this down. road. No, no further, further on the road down. still, Dad. We're not up far enough. It's closer, oh. to, closer to the highway. Oh. Okay, I got, the, I, got, I got the wrong road. <laughs> My son is a truck driver down here. He's gone the way I used to. And I'm re I retired from it now, so I don't have to have all those headaches. But he was on his way to... He was on his way to Nova Scotia to DeBert. DeBert, the DeBert area, yeah. And he had an issue. His, he, he, uh, an airbag. He blew an airbag right here, just below Woodstock. And so, I think he still might be there. Yeah, he got delayed for a while there. He <laughs> could be. Because you know my friend Chuck from my old work. Yeah. Right. He's actually driving to Woodstock today. Oh yeah. So I message him. I'm gonna send him a text later. And I'm gonna. The guy that used to work for you guys, then yes. went on transport. Yeah. I gotta text them and say, hey, if you're if you're in Woodstock by a certain time, text me. Yeah. I'm up here visiting my family. Yep. <laughs> so my wife works for Midland in, in Halifax, and, and I'm uh, assuming they're open. I'm this guy she's talking about is is a Midland trailer driver now. No, he doesn't drive for Midland Trailer. No. 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 He Straight left truck. Midland completely. Oh, oh, he he's went for working, another company. He's working for a different company now. Oh, okay. So he, he's an ex-employee of Midland. Yeah. He's an ex-co-worker. Yeah, now he was a, work, a co-worker with he's my wife. He's the one that we went to the wedding to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My little one, uh, Brian? No, no, Chuck. Chuck, Chuck. Yeah, that's his name, yeah. His real name is Charles. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, I'm at Pizza, Pizza Delight. I'm going to end this video right here. Let's see if I can find something interesting to show you. I'll go right out the window here, okay, like that. If you enjoyed this video, push that like button. If you are a subscriber, my thanks to you for subscribing. If you're not yet a subscriber, I hope you will become one soon. It's an elite group because you'll get all my videos when they come out. You won't miss a thing. With that, I hope you're having a great day. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.